Hi, Paul here again. Just a follow-up video uh, about changing over the uh, the 920 or 920XL ink cartridge in the HP 7000 OfficeJet uh, printer. Um, I drilled that hole at the beginning of the ink cartridge, like I said, um, and it's filled up the tank, but I but um, the ink stopped flowing again. And that I've, uh, I suspect that the reason that has occurred is because I'd drilled, a, no, I'd sealed up the air hole on the top of the ink cartridge. So, uh, so the the uh, procedure now is very very simple. It's exactly the same as before. Whatever you do, don't touch the air hole because the air hole is required. To, um, which is the it's just a very small open vent hole on the top underneath the label and that is actually open even though there's a label on top of it that allow, allows the air to flow into the into the cartridge when the um, when the uh, ink flows out the bottom uh, if that's sealed up then uh, it creates a vacuum inside when the ink flows out uh, and therefore the ink stops flowing so you need to keep that air hole open. So I'll show you what I've done in my printer. If you see here, um, this blue one is a brand new cartridge. Uh, the black one is as well for that matter. What you should do with the blue one, uh, and what I'll be doing in the future, is just take off the beginning part of the strip <clears throat> where that barcode, that square barcode area is at the front there. Take that area off. You'll see a small indentation, uh, a small uh, circular indentation. That is where you should drill your, uh, your say, one or two millimeter hole, and uh, and then just and that's the tank directly under this part here, and under this part here is the sponge. So under so once you've drilled that hole, uh, just fill that up with ink. It's a tank. Uh, it'll fill up. Leave this area completely, just don't touch it, because just under there, and you can feel it with your finger, there's a little uh, indentation under there. Leave it, that's an air hole, and it's actually connected uh, to the very top of the um, cartridge. Just here, there's actually squiggly lines under there going to the air hole. That is all open to allow air to flow into the cartridge so it doesn't create a vacuum so as you can see what I did with these ones I originally had blue tack here um, that sealed it up too much what you want is the air to be able to flow through these squiggly lines just like underneath this yellow like this blue label uh, so um, so air can get back in here is the example of or here is the example that's better in uh, more of a contrast um, here is the example of the hole that I drilled right there that little hole and um, and I filled that up with ink and that should work I'll just take this off hopefully that'll give us an idea about what to drill into there it is there you can actually see a small indentation there that's the part you drill into and you fill up with ink and it should take, if it was empty, it should take at least uh, four, I think it's four cc's or four mil of, um, of ink. And that's the end of the lesson. All you have to do is once it's empty, open that area up there, drill the hole, fill it with, uh, fill it with ink, and put a piece of blue tack over the top of it. Leave the rest of it alone. Done. Have a good day.